Hi guys, welcome to Dr. Um and Ask. I've got Dr. Sheetal Anand here, who is our dentist. Um, she's also at uni with me. So I think it'll be good for us, Dr. Um and Ask, to start with. And we've got a few dentists on our group, so I think it'd be good to get some thoughts from Sheetal on medical exams and how she got through them, because we were surprised that you got through them. <laughs> I was surprised. To be honest. So well done on becoming a dentist, firstly. Thank I mean, that's a huge achievement. Um, we were very shocked. But, um, <laughs> so first question, Sheetal. Um, tell me, the three exams that you feared the most and why? Three medical exams you feared the most? It was mainly the format ones were the EMQs. Okay. Um, just because they were so specific, um, and I think you find this with your AKTs as well. Yeah, check her out, um, AKTs, medical um, knowledge. And I think you knew the knowledge, but the detail they went through, especially with the dental anatomy, anyone who knows dental anatomy, maxillofacials have to do two degrees because it's so intricate um so you need to know things inside and out um so that was one yeah she told you um, a lot by the way so i have to keep cutting off <laughs> two. um i think the intricate uh, procedures like a root canal for example there's so many stages to it and they're so particular about how to do things in, in that certain protocol so what was that like an oscar then uh, You're examining it, how to do it. It was clinical, okay, uh, okay. actual work. So you had to hit certain okay. targets so to do certain things. So fear of people watching you, basically. Yeah, okay. and every tooth is obviously different. Every patient was different. So the patient okay. management of it all. So people who do clinical oscopies can relate to that, I think. Yeah. People watching them get yeah. things right. Yeah, Online and you're patients. on the spot as well. Yeah. Yeah. And with dentistry, you can't you can't predict it. Okay. You know, so the way you hold a drill to where the patient opens their mouth to isolating everything, you can't predict second by second at all. So fear unknown as well. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's fair enough. Yeah. Third one that stands um, out. Um, I think retaining knowledge mm. um, as a factual thing, and then being able to convey that to a patient without overbearing them. And I think in the OSCE situation, when you talk about oral cancer, for example, yeah, yeah. you have to be really sensitive about things, but then in your head, you're being very clinical. So again, it's having that patient bedside manner, but being clear. And with dentistry and medicine now, it's all about consent. It's all yeah, about consent, yeah. patient understanding, yeah. and that comes from you understanding Shared it yourself patient to yeah. conveying it to them. So getting knowledge across, but being aware that you've got a patient in front of you and doing it the and right way. And being human about yeah. it, and but also of, being a dentist. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of us can relate to that. And I think in a lot of medical exams, there's that balance of showing knowledge, but realizing that you're with someone. Yeah. And it's not just about talking knowledge, you've got to there's a patient. Yeah. But, okay, <laughs> but, okay. but genuinely, you just want to do right for the patient. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. But it is Brilliant. Um, always on your head. Brilliant. So tell me three things that you have told someone to try and comfort them for their exam, but you know they weren't helpful. Or three things that people have told you mm -hmm. that you, are just not helpful to hear when it comes up to, to an exam. That it just clicks. Yeah, just don't no, worry, yeah, it'll, just just, it'll just click. It'll all yeah. just come together. Yeah. And they said that for year four, I think, okay. in dental school, that someone said that in year four, because you do a lot of medicine related stuff, that it all just comes together with the OSCEs. And for me, it was year five. Okay. Uh, final year is where everything came together. Okay. So that doesn't help when people say it just clicks, it'll yeah. be around the day. Okay. Yeah. Something else that doesn't help that you know you said to somebody? It gets easier. So okay. when, when, it, when it filling you do. When obviously it doesn't get easier. It doesn't get easier. Because, like yeah. I said, every tooth is different. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you do 50 yeah. MOD fillings, yes. every of those fillings will be different. Okay. Um, and so even though you get more experience, you probably know more, mm -hmm. so you're probably less naive as you go through, yeah. which makes it harder. Yeah. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Yeah. One other thing that you know does not help that you, people say to other people for medical exams? Um, what do people say oh, to say? Oh, re keep re reading over your exam questions. Okay. Make sure you take time to read them over. Actually, every time I did that, I kept changing it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. <laughs> so fine, fine, actually, fine, 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 fine. it was just taking it slower, mm and being sure of your initial okay. answer instead of okay. kind of stressing that you've, you've got them all wrong. Yeah, and that's a personal thing. I think people need to understand what works for them yeah. and not go into exam and say, look, I, I'm going to do this because someone else says it or I'm going to do it because someone else said not to yeah. actually figure out what's for you. What's, what, what are you someone that should go back and change things? Does it help you? Yeah. Or are you someone that just does it once and lets it go? Yeah. Very good, very good. And then three things that you found gave you confidence before an exam? Um, that groups. maybe not. Groups, okay. So, groups. Okay. so one of okay. the dentists actually who works here now, yeah. we can still relive our conversations from 12 years ago. Okay, very good. It, that's what retained the most. Very good. What else? Uh, talking out loud. 
to yourself and, and know with other people okay. diagrams help okay a lot of diagrams so diagrams talking things out and study with groups but what's yeah. just one random thing that you did that just helped you get through an exam something whether it's superstition whether it's just anything like I what? prayed okay <laughs> a lot of people do that that's not random <laughs> something, else. Come on, um, something, that, something that that no one knows you do that you did that got you through come on you did so many weird things I ate a lot of bread. Okay, there you go. Eat a lot of bread. <laughs> try, try that one next time if you're studying for an exam. Brilliant. Thank you, Sheetal. We're done to get partnership, by the way, in Solihull. Hill. That's where I live. Sorry. From Sutton Coldfield. Sutton Coldfield. It's a great Birmingham place. Road. It's a great place. Please it's come and check funny. it out. Um, a few hashtags. Hashtag, hashtag Dr. Aman Arthur. 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 Hashtag Dr. Aman asks three. Hashtag Aman Doctor. Oh my goodness. We just fighted the hell. We should have rehearsed this. Hashtag, hashtag Dr. Aman asks three. And then hashtag can pass will pass. Hashtag can pass will pass. And hashtag I went with Aurora. Hashtag I went with Aurora. Well, Star, she's a little island. Thank you very much.